so glad you're here because today we are going to the fire station. Let's go check it out. collected, you know, different patches from different fire departments. It's kind of like a hidden tradition. Hang out, we watch movies, we play card games, we do reports in here, we watch movies together in here. And then cameras, because if anyone walks up or they're in their car or somebody's having an emergency that we can we can see them on camera so they're not just out there and they can't get to the door, we can see them and we monitor that for the day. So we get calls all the time, right? So when we're cooking dinner, but we're cooking something. Firemen have a bad habit of starting over fires. So, uh, <laughs> we'll leave food unattended, and somebody might forget to turn the oven off. So, we've got a full suppression system up there. So, if something does catch up, these little plungers give away and it makes a ginormous mess, but it puts the fire out. Um, so, everything's commercial grade in here in case something does happen and we forget. There has been fire departments that have uh, caught on fire because firemen get calls and they leave whatever's on the stove. So that's, that's Chelsea's fire tone, which lets us know, hey, we got a call. Hear that? So that's the dispatcher. And they, when somebody calls 911, they go there and then they call us and they dispatch the right engine. So that engine and that rescue truck are going to somebody's house to help save them. And then we, this is our board. This only covers this station, but we'll have like, Whoever's in the battalion car, which was Reeves, the shift commander, and who's on the rescue today, who's on the engine, who's on the ladder truck, if we have any extra duties, which on the weekends we really don't have a lot. Who is on the rescue? It would be Fire Medic Ethan and Fire Medic Harris, who we're about to meet today. The rescue truck, like we're talking about, this is brand new. This is actually the second day this thing is in service. Wow. It's brand new. Anytime that you're sick or hurt or injured or anything like that, I am the one that comes and I'll make you feel better. Okay? So right in here, this is our brand new truck. This is the second day it's been in service and we transported our first patient in it today. Uh, this is a compartment with some of our uh, basic medical supplies. We have our airway bag, uh, we have our jump box, and we have our Lucas device, which we use uh, in our cardiac arrest patient. So this is where we put patients when we transport them to the hospital. And this is really nice, it comes out as a fully electric uh, stretcher with a lock pack monitor and anything under the sun to make you feel better we carry in this very expensive transport. <laughs> yes it looks very expensive. So shiny and new and pretty. We are blessed in the city to have a we do have a mayor and city council and a set of chiefs that are very good to us and very good to y'all in turn to have Definitely. very good equipment. Very well trained staff. Uh, they they invest a lot in us. Now let's get to the main reason you're here, no one really cares about this boring stuff. We care about the fire truck that puts out fires. <laughs> they got all cool tools on there. This is engine 31. So this is the primary response engine that comes out of this station. If it's a commercial fire or like a big Walmart or something like that, we'll get on that big old ladder. This is really cool. This is, like, this is the guy that rides backwards. So he's our, either our plugman or a nozzleman. So he's catches the hydrant and gives us water, or he goes in there and actually fights the fire with these hoses right here. So you take that, and you like, he'll put his hand through here and pull those out, and a bunch of hose comes out, and the driver, which we'll meet in just a second, he'll turn the pump on, and it gets that guy water and go in there and fight the fire. So we have all these tools, we've got radios, flashlights, we've got our gear. Behind you is our big old air pack, which allows us to breathe whenever the, whenever, whatever, whatever we're around is a little smoky and hot, so we don't get hurt. And we've got headsets here, so we can talk to each other inside the truck. That's what I'm talking about. And this is pretty much the same thing. I've got a tablet up there that will tell me where I'm going, any call notes I have. Um, radios on all this stuff. What was the call last time? The one we just went on? Uh, I think she was having breathing problems. So we go to medical calls too. So we, we do medical call. Yeah. You can sit up there if you want to. You can sit up there? 
I need help or you got it? <laughs> I go up. <laughs> Can you see over the steering wheel? <laughs> Not quite. This is how it's done. Um, so here, turn the battery on and see how your lights will come on. So, uh, can you reach this button right here? Can you reach that one? You see all the lights that came on? So here is how he operates the pump. So all these hoses that we talked about earlier, we got to get water to those hoses, right? So all these little valves control a different line, a different way to get water. It's a pretty cool system. Some of it's electronic. We just control it all here and it gives us water. It's pretty much the same, except for it's got a big old ladder on top of it. And so it goes 107 feet in the air. Wow. It's pretty high. Um, and it goes, you can go straight up, you can go down, you can go left, right, you know, wherever you want. It's That's a big truck. Cool. Let's get seated up. Halligan, and with this and a flathead axe, firemen can break in anywhere. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it right here, swing the knee into the door, make a gap, we're going down. That's it. This is our little booster reel, I'll let you hold it. So we can we can put fire out this way too, we can pull it out like this. You ready? Right. Pull it all the way over. Make sure you get it tight. Get the fire, Jackson! Get it! You need to get it too. Keep, keep holding. You can change it.
There you go. Oh. Now, after that, well, what you do, get straight up and down vertical with it, get right there in that gap, and push, push, and push straight down. Let back into it. Come on. Woo! Okay. Here's a tip, when you get it down there, go further down and get more of your mechanical you, advantage. You're not a professional, Daddy. Almost there. Almost there. Boom, you're in. There you Oh, not go. quite. <laughs> That's a workout. Yay.